California has the largest population in the United States and the site of some of the most famous true crime cases in history. But there's more than meets the eye to the crime in California. Join Sean, Jessica, and Charles on the California True Crime Podcast as they cover crime both infamous and overlooked from around our state while looking at the deeper history that goes beyond beaches and movie stars. This episode of Bev's Video Kingdom is brought to you by Lou's Shit Burgers. The 1989 MLB Coach of the Year and American League East champion, Lou Brown, has opened the burger house for all you meat-eating shitheads out there. Whether it's a medium-rare Cleveland steamer with onion rings <laughs> or the bacon cheddar upper decker, you can count on Lou to make the right call when it counts. And when it's time to bring in the reliever to send you, to send you home, Lou has just what the doctor ordered in the mudslide shark sandwich which packs chocolate ice cream and hot fudge between two cheeks of warm chocolate cake. <laughs> two cheeks. That'll send you to the dugout with a smile. And by smile, I mean crying. And by dugout, I mean blowing your ass out on the toilet. <laughs> Lose shit burgers. They'll make you poop. <laughs> <laughs> shit burger? <laughs> Think we can give her a big old shit burger. All right, it is time for uh, what you guys have all been waiting for. It's time for our draft. Uh, you know you can count on Bev's for a, uh, a good draft to finish off our pod, and uh, we're about to start it. It's for most memorable coach. Let's most go. Most memorable fo- uh, movie coach. Let's go. Movie coach. Movie coach. All right. Well, I have an order here in our, our beautiful random draft order. Spat out in first place, Nate. Adam. He knows. Second pick, Zach. Oh my God, don't even. Third pick, Nick. My God. And on the wrap is going to be yours truly, Brad. On the fourth and fifth pick. Uh, who's making these who's making these picks? Is it Watson? Is that um, who we're using? Is it IBM? Or I, uh, I'm I, I dial up AOL oh. and then uh, <laughs> <laughs> <There's> some, <laughs> after two hours you get an email enough. back yeah I, I had that, to i had to send this in like a, yeah. a week ago you got that 14k just, mode and just screaming yeah. over there yep it just finally sped out the four random names send an email to somebody with a hotmail address and they get back to you on your myspace page <laughs> yes sir all right so uh i'm first you are leading off this is the biggest pick of the draft i don't this is really legitimately a tough one I think I, I think there's less of a clear answer here than there are in some of ours. Just pick for yourself. Hard, like hard disagree. It works for him every time. I think there's a very clear number one. So there is a clear number one, but I'm not going to take that number one because you guys are idiots. Zach S- loves instead, him knuckle puck. Instead, I'm taking Mick from Rocky. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. He was more of a mental coach than a than a boxing coach, wasn't he? Really, Mick, like just, I mean, he, he literally held the bag while <laughs> Rocky hit the bag. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what you mean. Can't remember which Rocky it was when he just kind of hangs. How and, many uh, and they punch him in the stomach a bunch of times? How many years? I always wanted to do that off of Mick's life. Do you think Rocky hitting that bag while Mick was holding it took off of his life? Well, if he took any off, I mean, how old was Mick when he died? Like 107. I, I blame Rocky. He would have been 185. I blame Rocky. The problem, the problem is Rocky doesn't hit that hard because he punched dudes in the face like 47 times in one round, and the guys didn't get knocked out. <laughs> so he was probably fine. Uh, all right, who's who's got to who's got to take my sloppy seconds? Okay, Zach. So I'm gonna go. I, I, I I'm gonna surprise the audience tonight, and I am going to draft for myself. And I'm going to pick, uh, you know, the ones that I that I really think. And I think the number one of one is Pat Morita as Mr. Miyagi from the Karate Kid. Mm. That's a good that that, that I, I can't argue oh, with that. I think that's the clear 
the clear number one. That was my number one. Yeah, that's that's right, Nick. I didn't think that was clear number one, but that's a that's a hell of a pick. It's on my list. I, 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 I I'm gonna get, I'm gonna all the way back at number eight. I'm gonna get the actual number one. I, I can't wait. All right, Nick, you are up. Mm. <laughs> it's tough. Okay. Don't screw it up. So our judge has made comments about this coach multiple times, and I'm gonna roll the dice. I like that he's just straight up pandering and say. <laughs> It is not pandering. It's I'm the opposite. Roll the dice and say and say that Scott. I'm just going to say that I'm not going to win because Scott's made comments that he does not think this person is a good coach. But this is most memorable coach. I'm picking. If you pick the fucking guy Gene from Hackman. Slapshot. Gene Hackman is Norman Dale. You son of a bitch! I, I thought, thought he was going to get him. eight. There was no way Norman Dale was coming. You back thought he him. was going to eight? Yeah, because these boneheads have not seen Hoosiers. Oh <laughs> I still would have taken him. He, he didn't make my list. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> Old Gene. I, I got to come up with another pick. Young, I got plenty. Young I, Gene. I got, I, my, my list is deep. Nate's list All just right. blew up. His bracket is blown up now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go here. Okay, so, I mean, if you're my age, this was the movie in the 90s. Everybody loved it. It spawned a goddamn NHL team. You have to go with Gordon Bombay of the Mighty Ducks. Yeah. I mean, dude. Yeah. I saw that coming. Just to make sure he's a Zach drunk, can't draft him. and he redeems himself by taking the 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 Ducks to the championship. I don't know why I thought that that was going to make its way back to me. I was like, these guys are too highbrow for my Ducks. <laughs> it spun off a bunch of uh, extra movies, and yeah. So really quick, do you guys remember seeing Mighty Ducks in the theater, and then going home and getting like a broom? And something on the ground, and all of a sudden, you're a hockey player now. I, oh. And we grew up in California. We've Literally never seen never anyone been on play ice. hockey. <laughs> yes, we never skated in our entire lives. And all of a sudden, we're buying rollerblades. Hey, Locust Street had some legit roller Dude, hockey yeah. games. We had some legit roller hockey games. I came out to some Locust Street, or actually Mulberry, around the corner from Mulberry. Oh, yeah. Where, they, where we for had sure. Some. But it was two, right, when they tipped over the cans, knuckle puck. That was... Two, that was right? two, but no, I'm not even talking about knuckle puck. I'm just talking about getting home from seeing that movie when you're, I don't know, you had like ice skate, ten, you had skate. and you're like, I want to be like, it was just that was a movie. Let's go to Roller King. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let's go to Roller King. Roller King. The free skate. Let's get it on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second pick on the reach around, going to the uh, the second round here. Um, man, Disney knows how to uh, make some memorable coaches, so. I'm going to have to go with uh, Herman Boone. Remember the Titans. Oh, just hard to disagree. Herman Boone. Pandering pick. Was now, a one. Out, like in real life, I guess the d- t- dude was a total dickhead. But Denzel? A- and hence the problem with Disney making sports movies. <laughs> is that, <are laughs> that, we talk- maybe, that'll be is for it Denzel we're talking about, guys? We are talking about Denzel, yes. Denzel Washington, Herman Boone. He's Herman great. Titans. He's great, and he does a great Disney job in the movie. making sports movies. About it's a hell of a movie. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's super yeah. enjoyable every time you watch it. It's terrible. But there's a little bit of fakeness to it, you know. All right, Nick. Pick six. One inch at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Tony D'Amato, played by Al Pacino in Any Given Sunday. Pacino. That's that's not a bad pick. Best, best pump-up speech by given by a coach to a team in sports movie history. I'll stand by that forever. He did a great job, but I just could never believe Al Pacino as a football coach. It just, I, it, it just never worked. That was like, that's Al Pacino. That's not a football coach. He he's, said, "Spy the robber." You know, spy the robber. <laughs> he, you don't think he's kind of Saban esque? I mean, I don't know. Just I, a little bit Saban, yeah. small, and I don't know. I just, I never he's, bought it. Is he five three? He was, <laughs> seems like it. He was like an H back. He was like a slot. He's a slot. He's, a slot. he's, he's like a, Hunter Renfro. He's a punt returner. He's like a Deshaun Jackson. Uh, all right, Zach, where are you going? Good pick, though. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Uh, I am going to go. Can I go for two movies? Can I pick one guy in two movies? Sure. sure. Nick Nolte. Mm, I like that. Pick. In Warrior and oh, wait, whoa, Blue whoa, Chips. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 No. Why can't I do that? Because he's not the same character. What are you talking about? Sorry, you can't do that. I didn't say yes. Did I just scream? I didn't even know what you meant. I was like, okay, where are you going with this? Yeah, I was you guys like, just I was said like, I could what? do it, and I did it, and I think I get the points. That would have been like me taking Mick in multiple sequels. That would have been like, no, like me saying, hey, Nate, can I have a bite of your peaches? <laughs> And then you saying sure, and after I take the bite, you go, wait a minute, I didn't know you were going to take a bite of the fucking peaches. Okay, 
That's that's crazy. Pick uh, one. <laughs> I have to pick one? Yes. No, Brad's already given me credit False. for both. Absolutely not. Not at all. Not at all. <sighs> Draft I just realized I wasn't keeping track of the draft <laughs> until just now, so I'm going back and type this shit in. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, and this this might be controversial too. I'm gonna go with Nick Nolte and Blue Chips over Nick Nolte. In I think that's a great Warrior. pick. Uh, that's that, 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 that's pick. wrong, but I'm I respect it. Okay, so the Bobby Knight of movies. Uh, it's very Bobby Knight. I've got I've got the rap here. So I'm gonna go with. You got to be the dumbest smart kid that I know. Bud Kilmer, Varsity Blues. I'm disappointed by that because I wanted to pick him because I love that movie. So I'm going to grab – this is a, this one's the tough one. Real quick with Bud Kilmer, the one thing that in that movie that drove me crazy and it just – it was good. When he starts smacking the kids with the whistle on the helmet, how bad that hurts <laughs> nice. when you have your helmet on. It just sucks so bad when coaches do that. And it's like the fact that he was doing that is like that's you know you're a real dick coach. Right? When you <laughs> your, hit the kids. Your, did your with dad the do that to kids? Was he doing that to kids? A whistle hit to the helmet. I very I, much I doubt got it. hit with the whistle. By your dad? No, no. Oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> All right. And on the rap, uh the guy with the longest P, Tom Hanks, look at their own. Mm. Dang. So now it's back to me. So now, by your guys' logic, since I can't pick multiple movies, <laughs> like, do we go Gordon Bombay and D- Mighty Ducks 2? All right. I'll take that look as a no. <laughs> I'm going to go with <laughs> Daniel Stern of Home Alone fame. Oh, my God. As the Ooh. hilarious coach. <laughs> From Rookie of the Year. Yo, I like that. (laughs) I I kind of like that. He makes me laugh out loud in that movie. What's his name? Brickma. There you go. I didn't even have that in my notes. I just said Home Alone guy, and then I had to look up who it was. (laughs) It works. We figured it out. And I was like, Joe Pesci wasn't in this shit. I think that was a, a reach, though. The guy is funny, though. All right, Nick. memorable. Is that the category? Memorable. It is memorable. memorable. Oh yeah, no, it sticks in your head. It's all in the hips, baby. It's all in the hips. Chubbs Peterson. Yeah, you got to go there. That that was the that was the other one that I was thinking about. Chubbs, you took his hand. So <laughs> I played in the Invitational at uh, at the Country Club with a buddy of mine, and he won the long the club throw. Okay, so. The entire tournament was themed Happy Gilmore. Uh, And it's like 70-year-old men playing this thing, and they're like, you know, it's all Happy Gilmore themed, and they had a club-throwing contest. And freaking DeBerg threw it further than anyone else out of 400-and-something people and got the sickest uh, Chubb's hand on a plaque (laughs) trophy with the fingers gone and everything, dude. It's really cool. Really, That's pretty awesome. That's good stuff. All right, my coach first here on the rap is, uh, I mean, when your mom tells you not to get a tattoo of Roy Oberson on your ass <laughs> and you go ahead and do it, <laughs> you know you're going to be something special. You're going to be a legend. So I'm going with uh, Coach Coach Klein from the Wada Boy. The Fonz, right? Oh, yeah, Henry Winkler. Okay. And on that second pick... All right, I got to go this way. Uh, for the old school fans, um, Walter Matthau, good old Morris Buttermaker. You don't want the you don't want Billy Bob Thornton. I'm not going to go Billy Bob. I'm not going that new shit. I'm going old school where it's like it's a little bit very very questionable the, the actions he's taking around these children. <laughs> so we're going Morris Buttermaker, Bad News Bears, the uh, the Walter Matthau, legit version. You think he's worse than the than the Billy Bob? Yeah, because they kind of had to like PC it back then. It was like a little bit more like risque and just kind of like uncomfortable. I do appreciate uh, the guys that just s- smoke cigarettes while practicing, little, while coaching little league, which was a thing when we were when we were young. I remember oh. getting BP from a certain baseball coach with a freaking Paul Mall hanging out of his <laughs> the entire time. Yeah, either dip or smokes and uh, and a lot of fighting. I, I saw a few different coach fights, and oh, yeah. fights and stuff. So 
Good old Little League. There used to be some good ones. <laughs> All right, Nick, we're back to you, sir. All right. <clears throat> he didn't slam you. He didn't bump you. He didn't nudge you. He rubbed you. And rubbing son is racing. Harry, oh, I thought that might come back Harry to me. Harry Hogg, Days uh, of Thunder, I can't believe Robert you, Brad, Duvall. You should be ashamed. I was Brad waiting for Brad. That. Like I was, You waited a while on that, Bradley. Sorry, bud. I couldn't hang in there long. That was pretty high on my list. I thought there was a chance that comes back. From Days of Thunder, one of the, I want to say the second or third podcast we ever did that will never see the light of day. Where my wife and I dressed up. Nick <laughs> and his wife dressed up as Nicole Kidman and Tom Hanks from Days of Thunder. It was impressive. Okay, so I'm next. I am going to go with, there was two choices from this one movie. And I'm going to go with... Al Bundy himself, Ed O'Neill, from Little Giants. Ooh. All right, are we going five rounds or five, six? Five rounds. There's so only one more pick. You're telling, or you got two. I get two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So my final you're two. You're finishing here. it up. Do we have Al Bundy's name? Does anybody have that written down? Somewhere? His name in the it's um it's O'Shea. O'Shea. It's, it's, uh, Kevin O'Shea. Is he Kevin? I think it's Kevin because Danny is. Is he like a car salesman or he owns like an electronics empire or something? I can't remember exactly what he does, but he's like super successful. Yeah. He drives like a a convertible Ford uh, Fiesta or something like that. I can't remember. It's been so long. It's been the icebox. All right. right. (laughs) I'm going to take the playa coach of playa coaches, Paul Newman slap shot. This is the guy that's accusing people of pandering. <laughs> what? I love that movie. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to take as my final pick, and this is hey, a pick. Hey, what, what's, what's the coach's name in Slapshot? Paul Newman. Paul Newman. I just told you. <laughs> <laughs> pandering. I think we should rename Pan- oh, He's back on the panda rap, remember? It's the, it's the, the panda, uh, panda rap. <laughs> and uh, this pick's for me, and it's the correct Nolte coach pick, and it is Warrior. I'm currently in uh, season five of Warrior right now. I'm going to binge the rest of it tomorrow. It's cool that you picked the the one that I already picked. It's a good <laughs> pick. I like it. Zach. Hey, is what's, it cool if we coach? take a running back and a quarterback? <laughs> <laughs> They're on the same good? team. We're good? They're, They're on, on the same, same team. team. Okay, cool. I'm going to take uh, Tom Brady and Chris Godwin <laughs> That's together. Fine, right? um, like a what, what's, what's his name? Do we remember his name from, from Warrior? Um, yeah. It's, Patty uh, Conlon. Yeah. Well, there you go. Oh, actually, I, didn't, I did not have him on my list for Warrior. All right. This is my last pick, and I had it circled because I knew that it was going to be available to me at the last pick. But I think it's going to be this the the uh, the one that sneaks me right into the winner's circle right here. And we're going to go Tupac as Birdie from Above the Rim. Oh, that's not bad. I mean, how much more dedicated as a coach can you get than – you just slice up a dude's face with a razor blade because he looked at you sideways. Yeah, but it's dedication. He, he pissed off too many people, and then when he's chilling in that that club, like at the booth, he, he gets shot up by Damon Wayans, <laughs> I believe, who plays the greatest like. No, it's it's Sean Wayans, wasn't it? Yeah, I, it, is it? Oh no, it's the younger one. Yeah, it's one of the younger ones. Marlon a, Marlon Wayans. Marlon Wayans. I think we were both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's one of them. Great movie. They don't play movies on TBS at night anymore, or at least I don't have TBS anymore, but that movie used to be on there a lot with lots of bleeps. Yep. Great movie, though. What you got, Nikki? All right. Since none of us are pandering, and I I would never, I wouldn't stoop to pander myself, the reason why we're here tonight, I'm picking him, Lou Brown. Give him to me. It's weird for you to pick someone from the movie that we're doing. (laughs) Haven't done that a couple times before. You know, our listeners are looking for consistency. I'm just, I'm trying to be the rock here. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. I got one more pick here. Damn it. I got a good I draft. feel like I'm just going to go ahead and just stab my draft like I like to do in the last <laughs> round. Is there any Muppet coaches? <laughs> there's there's a galaxy. There's 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 a there's something out there. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go out of left field, and this is gonna this might not even be this might not even work. But y- Yoda doesn't count, bro. <laughs> might not. It was on work. some lists that I saw. Yoda? No, okay. Actually, you know what? I'm I'm not. We'll we'll talk about this one and when we go with. <laughs> I thought you were gonna. Say, oh, I'm actually gonna go Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually gonna go and 
it's 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 not a coach in the traditional sense. But <laughs> speaking of Damon Wayans, I'm gonna go with Major Payne as the title character in Major Payne. He's you know, the coach of their. That's interesting how you did that. Team. It doesn't fall into Wait, the category what, what, at all. Cadet that's team. Cool. What, what is their? What are they? A team he's up? a drill sergeant. Team he's, of the army, bro. No, 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 no. He's he's. There's a. Is it? A, it's like a youth competition amongst drill teams. Yeah. And he is the coach for their team. That's a great pick. That will definitely win you the draft. <laughs> I think you should. You know go what? With that. I figured out you, a you different all, way to stab myself. <laughs> you, you, always, you always wanna you always wanna have a pick on you where you have to explain in some detail how they are actually fit in the category. That's the that's the yeah. puncher. You know what? I know Scott's gonna look up a clip if he hasn't seen it, and he's gonna see a funny ass clip. And he's gonna be like, "Dude, he's a legit coach." Yeah, I'm sure he is. You're he's right. All, I can't believe there was no Muppet or Pixar coach for the pick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. My, my, I, but we'll talk about. It. So the draft's over. My other pick, technically, Woody have... is Buzz's life coach. So I'm gonna go with uh, Woody from Toy Story right now. <laughs> my other losing pick would have been. Uh, where was it? Shit! Now I lost it. Do we want to go? Over, we're going to go over some. Uh, yeah, let's go some also legend. rands. Let's go some also rands real quick. My right. list is pretty much completely done. <laughs> okay, I got some. Good prep. We got Irv Blitzer. Cool runnings. That's yes. a, that's John a really Candy. Big mess. John a, Candy. Jackie Moon. Pla- that's player the coach. other player coach. Player, player coach. coach. Semi pro. So here's one you guys might not have thought of Clint Eastwood as the coach in Million Dollar Baby. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. I like that. I did not. I, I, I almost picked it, but I was like, it might be just too far out. And then. To go along, the only one that would have been two in one movie, Shooter from Hoosiers. Oh shit! Two of you idiots don't the, know the that assistant means. coach. That, yeah, uh, yeah, sounds yeah. Like, no, sounds yeah. like a great movie, guys. My other way of stabbing myself would have been Billy Haywood, <laughs> Little Big League, because I love that movie. Oh, He's actually, a great coach. That's actually I love that movie too. I would have been. A, I would have liked that. Pick. There's I mean, only one Apollo. You know, what I mean Apollo, Apollo Rocky Creed. Three. I mean, it's truth. Just only one on my list that we didn't go with, and that was uh, Rip Torn as Patches O'Houlihan uh-huh. from Dodgeball. Oh, actually, how did we miss that? I didn't miss Patches that. was on my list. I just yeah. I decided to go away from it. So Chester Lee. This is what you get when you do an outdoor podcast, right? You get planes flying over to the airport. It's nice. our private jet. Just about we're about we we're actually we're running out of time, guys. They're circling. Um, Mr. Time. Baseball Uchiyama is a great coach. Yeah. He's he's Tom Selleck's coach in, in Mr. Baseball. That's a classic. Chester Lee in Ladybugs. George Knox, uh, Angels in the Outfield. Oh, and you know what? Molly McGrath, Wildcats. Yeah. I, that was also in my last pick idea. Mm-hmm. She is outstanding. Goldie Hawn, uh, Wesley Snipes, and and uh, and uh, what's his name's first uh, movies together? We're missing one that I'm ashamed that I didn't pick. Cheech, is, Cheech uh, Marin and Tin Cup. No, no, no. He's not a coach. He's a caddy. I thought of that too. I tried to. I tried to get a golf movie in there, and I knew that Gilmore wouldn't get to me. But uh, I'm gonna say uh, Rodney Dangerfield from Ladybugs. I just said. I just said that you missed him, bro. Chester Lee. Ladybugs. Are you serious? Did <laughs> yes. you say Rodney Dangerfield? No, I said Chester no, Lee is the character. Lee. Oh, I missed it, bro. And one that I'm surprised we didn't do, but it's a real person, so maybe it wasn't. As as interesting, her Brooks miracle. Yeah, I her thought yeah. it takes something away from it for me. The fact that real, it's a real, real person. person. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I agree. So the only other one that I thought of that we didn't we didn't mention was uh, Bill Bowerman, who's also a real person yeah. in the movie Without Limits. Mm-hmm. I think that one. There's two movies about Steve Prefontaine. I think this one was uh, Donald Sutherland. Yeah, is the, he's great in it. Um, Jared Leto, Pop Fisher. That, that that's pre. That's uh, and I think that's Al Bundy. That's the that's. Uh, Ed Harris plays the Ed O'Neill. Ed O'Neill. Yeah. Well, I claim him under <laughs> my uh, under my Little Giants one also. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, James Conn is uh, Sam Winters in the program. Oh, that's a good and one. Then, yes. Then you got Pop Fisher, character name in The Natural. That's a good old fashioned coach right there. He was. I don't know. Those were, that was a good character too. He was actually kind of high on my list. Pop Fisher was. Billy Bob is Coach Gaines, Fred Ant Lights, yeah. Jimmy McGinty, the replacements, the Bull Durham coaches. So you, they were smaller parts, but they had some funny, yeah. some funny what a, from some funny putt. What about the Ivan Drago esque uh, crazy Russian coaches oh, from yeah. Mighty Ducks yeah. Two? Oh, I thought you were going to say the actual like, <laughs> like uh, uh, oh uh, them too. But. Uh, Dra- Drago's actually manager guy. Yeah, I'm talking about uh, the the Russian team on Mighty Ducks Two. Oh, Whatever he hits, black. he destroys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yeah, that's, that's that looks like it's a pretty good list. Yeah. All right, no, enough enough stalling. Oh, you guys are all just trying to <laughs> the delay rock, the inevitable. Somebody said the Rock earlier, and and the Rock was in uh, that recent movie with the football team. He's the coach, and then Coach Carter. We didn't do Coach Carter either, so oh. those are two others. That we I think out. Nick was saying that he was going to be the Rock of our podcast by picking the coach from the movie that we are uh, yes. in the podcast. Yes, and that's that's when I thought of the Rock. Misunder- <laughs> misunderstood. So, so uh, am I? What's the Am I up to nothing or what? What, what, what are I, three one? So you have a win. I have a win, right? I have two wins. Nick has a win. I have two wins. False. I have two wins. There's only been no, four. We podcasts. tied. We, when we had the when we had the two judges, I won on one judge scorecard. He won on the second. Judge and then scorecard. you won one, and then I won two. I won the first one. No, there's only been four. So you've won. There's two only in been a row. four. Podcasts. I've won two in a row. Yes. You guys just named seven wins, and there's only been four. <laughs> There, there, he's counting. Oh, he's counting a tie as a win, which None is bullshit. Yeah, that sounds very soccery of you. Yeah, um, you, 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 need, you need us to you need us to give you a red card or like you know <laughs> pump your legs or anything to get you back on the field. I think I got a W. It was a win. It wasn't a tie. It was a win. It was like in the Olympics when those two people, uh, they pretty much they, and they tied. decided like, yeah, hey, and they you said, wanna, you want to? Well, guys... they asked them. They were like, can we both get one? And they were like, yeah. And did, they were like, well, yeah, that's what we want. Did we you each get a participation time. ribbon, or we each did you just got have to gold share? Medals. It? Yes, yes. Cool. it was beautiful. Gold okay, gold. well, let's, dude, let's let's get on with it then. All right, Bev's Video Kingdom is brought to you by. Can't see the whiteboard at school. Have trouble seeing street signs at night. How about that time you thought you were talking to a beautiful woman only to realize it was a particularly curvaceous cactus? Go to the eye doctor. Seriously, you're endangering yourself and your family, and your fucking squinting all the time is making you look like Gilbert Godfrey. Just go. Get some fucking glasses. Paid for by the committee to keep adults from hurting themselves and their family because they're afraid of looking like a nerd. All right, folks, it's time for these draft results. we got to find out who's the winner and who are the losers. So let's go ahead and hear those teams. We've got Team 1, Mick from Rocky, Bud Kilmer, Varsity Blues, Jimmy Dugan, a league of their own, Reggie Dunlap, Slapshot, Patty Conlon, Warrior. Team 2's got Mr. Miyagi from Karate Kid, Nick Nolte, and Blue Chips. We didn't get the coach's name. I guess that was our fault. Uh, Brickma, Rookie of the Year coach, Kevin O'Shea, uh, Al Bundy from Little Giants, and Birdie, Tupac, and Above the Rim. It was uh, Pete Bell. Pete Bell. Okay, there we go. Uh, team three, Normandale Hoosiers, uh, Tony D'Amato, Any Given Sunday, Chubbs, Happy Kilmore, Harry Hogg, Days of Thunder, and Lou Brown, Major League. And team four, Gordon Bombay, Mighty Ducks, Herman Boone, Remember the Titans, Coach Klein, The Waterboy, Morris Buttermaker, Bad News Bears, the Walter Matthau version, and Major Payne from Major Payne. And we have a guest judge here. Guess who's back? Back again. Who could it be? Scotch Welcome is back. back. Tell your friends. Scotch. <laughs> here we go. What's going on, Scotty? How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty well, man. Thanks for having me back. Appreciate it. Thanks for being Love here. Love to have man. you, man. How do you like our new outside studio? This is amazing. It's so nice to have weather. We can enjoy this finally. That's right. It's been so damn hot. And uh, it's not as smoky, so it's nice. Is this and what weather is like? And there's cats. <laughs> there's a cat out here meowing at us. I mean, it's just beautiful. Like eagle, uh, eagle circling. Caw, caw. <laughs> Nature is our studio. All right, That's, so we've got a uh, we we we've been talking about the movie Major League, a classic of all of our generations. What's your thoughts? What 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 have, what are your feelings on the movie Major League? One of my all-time favorites. It's just one of those movies that it comes on, and no matter where it's at, I just start watching it. And, um, yeah, I mean, this movie came out, I mean, I don't even, what year did this even come 1989. out? 1989. 89. Yep. Yeah, that was uh, right right in high school. Era, Summer of Love. And, and I just love this film. And, um, yeah, like I said, I watch it all the time. There's definitely some little things about it that I noticed. I was, I was talking to you guys earlier um, one little nitpick that I've always had with this movie is the the crowd. And if you look real close, look for Cle- look for Cleveland hats. <laughs> Don't see them. Uh, so it's, this was filmed in Milwaukee, right? And the, the, most of them are on good looking women, 
and the hats are completely unformed. The f- bills are flat, <laughs> that the, and they're the, like the cheap, super cheap Dude, they're ahead hats. Of their, they're ahead of their time. It's, it's the it's, flat bill. They, yeah, they this knew was, it was in, coming. This was when the brim of your with hat, the, like, the rope across yeah. the top there. But, but <laughs> the brim was actually cardboard inside of there. So yeah. if it ever got wet, it was completely ruined. Dawn. There's nothing trendy or cool about this. It was <laughs> a bad time for hats. And now, now that I've said this, when you watch this, you can't unsee can't it. it. <laughs> and it's it's Love so it. amazing. And and then once I real, I didn't know it at the time when I first when I first saw him, I was like, it's just so weird. Then I realized, oh, okay, it was filmed in Milwaukee. It makes sense. They just gave these hats to these hot chicks in the in the crowd. Like, hey, you wear these, and so, anyway. they're like, "We're here with Charlie Sheen." Yeah. <laughs> I have a, I have a weird this weird thing with just noticing small obscure details in movies, and I see an extra that sucks, and I just get fixated on it, <laughs> and I don't know why. Well, <laughs> as as a farmer, we had to wonder if you noticed that when uh, uh, when Lou Brown goes and talks to Taylor <laughs> right before he's having a conversation, says, "Did you get enough?" Pay for him. All right, good. Well, take good care of him. It sounds like he's talking about a horse or something. Somebody bought a horse or got a horse or obtained a horse, and he's talking about does it have enough hay and all this good stuff. And that's that's just a weird little thing that happens in this movie, Scott. So in the spring training, they're still in spring training, uh-huh. and I just caught it. I swear to God, two days ago, just with Brad too. Spring training portion, right before he talks to Taylor about his knees. Right. Like if you better you better fake it, you know, if you right. want to make this team. So right before that conversation, <laughs> he's finishing a conversation about better give or you know, give it give it hey, take care of it. And then he walks over to Taylor. Random. Then they leave that and they left that in the movie. Huh. This, this I, is the have you heard of, that before? I, I have never yeah. noticed those little details. So it's gonna it's be just, hard. It's, it okay. feels like it's almost like an early edit. Like they just like they right. should have cut the scene a little bit later to start it and <laughs> they just didn't and it. he's just yeah he's having some random conversation well, about, hey. of, of course there's the most amazing the, the the famous edit in this whole thing was the one that ran during the trailers was the the, the famous line oh the yellowstone yeah that ball would have been out of most parks name one yellowstone and then they brought it back for major league two right and it was awful because just the way that they the well, scene didn't just didn't work that his girlfriend did the line and it just wasn't the same but i remember going to the theater just waiting for that line <laughs> because that line was so good in the commercial and it never happened as i said earlier i don't like to think about major league two as an actual movie uh, yeah. yeah well have you seen the, the third one <laughs> i mean yeah it's in the same it's in the shield universe yeah it's Brad actually in the universe of the shield I, I made that that point earlier uh, so. how many times in major league two or three do they mention hay or horses or anything along those lines <laughs> I mean, what kind of movie is we'll it? We'll find it. <laughs> and, uh, so, and I have one small, short little story, if you don't mind, um, about Corbin Burnson. When I was living down south in the Los Angeles area, I worked at Starbucks for a while. And Corbin Burnson actually would come into our store. And various other little B-list celebrities would come in. We didn't have anybody huge, but it was kind of cool. And I wasn't there to see it, but I had multiple people tell me the story. Corbin Burnson came in. And there was this one guy named Ryan Smolakis. He was just a younger kid, worked there, smart ass, total smart ass. And apparently, right when he walked through the doors, Ryan's like, Hey, Dorn! <laughs> <laughs> All excited, you know? And Corbin Burnson got pissed. He's like, My name's not Dorn, it's Corbin Burnson. <laughs> And I was like, what a douche. You know, somebody no, no. Yeah. Well, we mentioned uh, earlier, we mentioned earlier when we were talking about Cameo that on, on Cameo, Corbin Burnson, it says next to his name, Major League. So <laughs> he's milking it to get that Cameo well, dollars. Yeah. So well, he's, he's, he's trying. Don't, what's crazy is he has 253. Oh my God. So many B, C, acting D, credits. E movies. And like, I literally can't remember him in anything else. <laughs> so like, I don't know. He, yeah. he, is, he is Dorn and that's yeah. it. The that part of Dorn CTC. came supernatural. Cash the check. Nah. Cash that <laughs> check. <laughs> I didn't picture you as a barista, Scott. <laughs> Well, you know, there's a lot of things you don't know about me, buddy. You know, Barista, get, 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 get to Drug know me dealer. a little bit, and I'll make you a coffee. You we'll know? Put that on the list, Scott. <laughs> Artist got to hustle. <laughs> yeah, I'm a renaissance man. What That's can right. I say? That is right. <laughs> Guitarist, drummer, barista. There we go. Farmer. There yeah. Go. I like that. Man of many talents. That's why we have him on the show so much. Okay. You guys ready to get into this? Let's, Let's do, it. do it. All right. So, ready to get my trophy. <laughs> Participation can trophy. The, can, can Zach get out of the gutter? Can he get out of the gutter? Now, if let's see, if I'm not my, sure if this if, is my week. 
<laughs> I did guess whose team was what at the end, and based on my guesses, the answer is no. Oh, no. <laughs> but, we'll, but we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe, maybe I have wrong. a We can yeah. only hope. Scott. So now I know how competitive you guys get with this. Huh? I've, nah, seen, really I've done a few what? of these we, now. we never say anything about it afterwards. I fist fought Nick in the parking lot last time. <laughs> <laughs> he lost that, too. <laughs> Kicked me in the balls like in the second grade. <laughs> now, <laughs> I won, damn it. Because I, you know, that's your guys' thing, and I'm not involved in that. My competition is with other, other judges, and I want to step up my game every oh, time I come here. Yeah. If you like notice, that. that's why like I that. like where this is headed. If you notice, I'm, I'm holding an iPad, you know, super fir- techie. First pod, I had scratch paper, you know, and. Now it's getting official. first of all, we put you on the spot, and you're just like, uh, let me think about this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Gut reactions. So now I put some thought into these. I made a scoring system. I'm going to quickly go through the scoring system so you guys know. Perfect. And each time it may change. So don't think, oh, hey. Oh, I like that. Right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Target. So this week's scoring system, this is going to be on pretty much all of them, is, this, is what I call the um, SBAYF, which is the. <laughs> Scotch Beck, oh yeah, factor. <laughs> so I, I see it, I react. Yeah. This is sabermetrics, folks, for, exactly. for me podcasting. <laughs> That's exactly why I did that. So, so yeah, it's just it's my overall gut feeling. Is the movie great? You know, is the actor great? Is the, all that's kind of in, incorporated. And that's like one to 20 points. So it's like that's the big number. Oh. Then there's a bunch of bonus points you can get. Okay. So there's the love, which is uh, I love you, man, which is I love the actor. So if I love that actor, one to five bonus points, depending on how much I really just love that. It's just some bonus points for if they sure, pick a sure. great actor that I love. And then there's the YouTube assist. If I haven't seen the movie, <laughs> then I go on YouTube, pull up a clip, then I get... One to five bonus points for how good that clip is. Okay. Oh, that's not negative, huh? So there's there's no, yeah. I would think you would get negative well, points but, if you've never seen the movie and have to look it up the, on the, YouTube. The, the, well, the, but the Scott Beck, oh yeah, factor, probably pretty low on uh, I haven't right. seen it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Exactly, gotcha. yeah, that, that score's going to be low, and this is going to help boost that score. Got you. I and mean, that's how Nate got a win last I'm week. I'm actually going to need that a lot. Right. Very true, <laughs> very true, Brad. That's a, that's a good I should take, stop man. complaining about you know that what? part of Win's the score. Win's a win, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Flamethrowers, god damn it, they're so exciting. Win's a win. Then we got the Oscar, the Oscar's bonus point. So basically, these are just little bonus points. So if they're nominated for any Oscar, they get a point. If they're nominated for an Oscar in this film, that's two points. Oh, yeah. If they were a winner of any Oscar, that's three points. If they won an Oscar in this film, that's five bonus points. Holy okay. Which I don't think that happened. But anyway, we had some, a lot, those were a lot of bonus points. I think 90% of our, our guys here won Oscars. Yes, there was a lot yeah. of bonus points. <laughs> Emilio Estevez was nominated, I think. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> then there's a little bonus points for Scotchler's list. Which is my <laughs> list. I love it. <laughs> Would I put this on my list? So that's just a little point or not. <laughs> and then, Scotchler's. And then there's the catchphrase oh, no. bonus. Oh my god. Zero to three points Quotability. for a catch. So if I if I instantly just think of a, a catchphrase, especially by the actual actor, then you get some bonus points for that. So anyway, those are kind of how I did it. I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna go into every score for every movie. Um, but what I will kind of do is say um, what their total score was, yeah. and maybe some highlights. Ooh, some, we got real scores. My fucking, my yeah, fucking, this is getting legit. God, I have like we're such a goal out, now to get onto Scotchler's list. I was saying we're figuring <laughs> out ways to make Zach's losses Can even we? more like significant. <laughs> we need it. Seven point eight awards. versus twenty five, twenty six. <laughs> okay, so going into round one. Across the board, really great picks. Um, Mick from Rocky um, was definitely some, somebody I, I picked. Um, he was he he was nominated for an Oscar in that movie, I believe, and uh, so he got a couple bonus points for that. Um, supporting actor, I believe, and then uh, the highlight for this, Mr. Miyagi was the one. I, I I didn't even think of Mr. Miyagi when I was making my list, which was amazing, um, and he got the most points in round one. So, and team two. You're uh, the best around. around. Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> Mighty Ducks is, is not one of my favorite movies, so that was probably the, the lowest pick in this first round for me personally. What a shit pick. Yeah. Quack. So, Quack. <laughs> round two. Her, Fucking I'm, shipper girl. I'm going pick. backwards uh, like the draft went. Herman Boone, remember the Titans? Amazing. I mean, Denzel, can't argue with him. He had, He got big points. He actually tied for top points in this round. 
uh, Tony D'Amato. Um, I mean, it's ma- amazing actor. It's the same with Nick Nolte. I've, I haven't seen Blue Chips from the beginning, but I've seen the scene at the end. <laughs> so I didn't need the, the blue. So he, he actually, I guess he gave this pretty good points and got YouTube points. So Nick Nolte got some points on that one. And then something's going on. <laughs> Just looking at Nick. Bud Kilmer, Varsity Blues, great film. Um, and they also had top points in that round. Um, just because I personally love that movie. Very quotable movie. I don't want your life. <laughs> <laughs> and I do horrible impressions. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, round three, Jimmy Dugan. That's that's the best pick of this round by far. Um, Who's that? Is that the Hoosiers guy? <laughs> no. Don't cry. Oh, okay. Don't cry. Don't cry. Okay. Baseball? No, I agree. I like yeah, that. I like yeah. that pick. Just a perfect pick. I can't believe he went in round three. Um, I've, n- I've, I've seen parts of rookie of the year, but I definitely love Daniel Stern. So that, because I haven't seen the movie, that one didn't hurt it that bad. And I believe it was the, is that the movie where he said funky butt loving? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> funky yeah. butt lo- so th- that definitely helped that score. Uh, Chubbs Peterson, great pick. Um, and coach Klein for Waterboy, which I actually thought that maybe even the other coach, the, uh, um, Cajun coach would be. I don't know if you guys, yeah. you guys are going to do packages of both we coaches. We play another day. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something about these guys, Scott. They don't let you do any modifying of, uh, of anything. I tried. This guy tried to uh, pick two coaches, pick in, two one coaches pick. in one pick. I don't even get no, it. I said, insane. I said Scott. This, I said, I said, hey guys, can I pick one coach for two different movies? And they said sure. And then I did it, and they were like, whoa, this is cheating. We had no one he actor, two coaches one from actor, different movies, two different coaches. Same actor, two different movies. Yeah. He but played he was, a coach in two different coach. movies. And I said, like, I want to pick him for were both. overthrown, punches were <laughs> And like they wouldn't was, let me fucking do it. Not like Mr. Miyagi in Karate Kid 1 and 2. Well, what was funny like, is we all yeah, said and yes. And 3 and 4. He also taught a uh, million dollar baby how to fight karate. We all so. said yes. He made <laughs> his pitch. Dog, the before her boxing kid. career. Yeah. Before Clint Eastwood ruined her fucking technique. <laughs> got her killed. Uh, <laughs> got her fucking killed in the ring. Things got dark. Worse. That old dark. Uh, that old. Oh. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> We've got uh, Buttermaker Walter. I'm so glad it's that version of this movie and not the Billy Bob Thornton version. Love Walter Matthau. One of my all-time favorite movies is The Grumpy Old Men. Those oh, movies, yeah, movies are so, so great. great. Um, so I got a soft spot for him. So he actually had really good points in this round. He would have been the best, but I think you guys know who got the top points in this round. Because <laughs> it's coming. Uh Harry Hawk, Days, Days of Thunder, that's uh, Robert Duvall, right? Yeah. I haven't seen that movie in forever, yeah. Yeah. but I love love him. He's an amazing actor. Um, Kevin O'Shea, Little Giants, uh, Al Bundy, what the hell is his real name? Ed O'Neill. Ed O'Neill. Um, never saw the movie. He's a stage actor. Yeah. Unfortunately, the, <laughs> unfortunately, the clip I, I pulled up wasn't that great um, of him, so that didn't really help. No. So that that Did that it show his pinky score. ring? It did not. <laughs> And then Reg Dunlop, st- slap shot. I mean, best pick in the entire draft. Can't believe it went. I'm actually insulted. It went round four. That's crazy. It's almost like someone knew you were the judge. I know. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, so, so the last pick for hey. Brad, so last pick for Brad's Fourth team because <laughs> Brad was definitely team one. Uh, Patty Connell. I never saw Warrior. And uh, wait, we told you to go see that movie. You still have not seen it. Shit, that was only like ridiculous. what three weeks ago. I'm oh. gonna see it right now. It's really go good watch it right now. Go home and watch it. All right. I don't usually agree with these fucking guys, but that's a fucking one we agree on. So, but he's, I still gave him a lot of points um, because it's Nolte and um, he got nominated for this film. Yeah. And so that was a couple bonus points. So actually, the score is actually pretty good, um, even though I didn't see it. Wish I would have known the format. (laughs) Right. Um, Okay, Tupac. I'm just not a fan. Weird pick, Nick. <laughs> never, never, saw, never, never saw the movie, um, and so that what wasn't a, wasn't a great s- s- score. So anyway, you need to go to go to TBS about twelve thirty p.m. <laughs> yeah. um, a.m. A- 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 I fell asleep a- watching the clip. I'm okay, sorry. Uh, Lou Brown. <laughs> Lou Brown, amazing pick, best pick of the of the fifth round. Can't believe he went to the fifth. Of course. You know, you guys might have been thinking it's the movie you're talking about. So, but I think that's Scott. Fun. Mainly, what we were thinking is who would be bitch made enough to pick a guy from the <laughs> movie that we just watched? But well, we, we found out quickly who it's, would. It's Nick. But I'd and, rather <laughs> pick. I'd rather so, pick Tupac instead. <laughs> and, and Major Payne, 
That's not a coach. He's, he's a drill sergeant. <laughs> Thank you. I, you. Just earned yourself some fourth place. So, um, <laughs> finals, final tallies. Um, <laughs> Zach still get fourth place. The, the scores. Even with the drill sergeant. <laughs> scores. Number one had 138. Number two had 127. Number three had 110. Number f- and and then I'm not. That's not the teams, but the actual. Those were the. That was the first places, and the 104 was last place. So team one, 138. You win. Thank you wait, wait, wait. very keep much. Going. Keep going, keep going. Team two, or team, team three oh, what? is 127 points. Oh, I misunderstood what you said earlier. I thought I got, <laughs> I thought I got second. Uh, team, team four, 100, oh, no. 110 points. <laughs> <laughs> Zach's team got 104 points. <laughs> so, so I think I got it wrong. I, so I guessed... So team one, that That's was me. Nate. Oh my gosh! Yeah, because Nate picked the pandering of all pandering. I slap did shot not. I, I, I how did left, you, how I in the fourth round? What do you yeah. want me to do? I, I should have taken him over Morris Buttermaker, and I decided not to. You deserved to lose, Brad. You, you, I didn't you think anybody was going to take him. I honestly didn't think because Nate's never seen the movie, and he took. Well, it's not true. I have seen the movie. You have not seen the movie. I have seen the movie. I mean, because I there's some triplets in there. I know. Because Reg Dunlop and Slapshop was. That was discussed, and then I actually sent uh, texts to Brad personally about some of the things he said incorrectly about Reg Dunlop. I know, <laughs> and yet, and he yeah. Could, yeah, no, it's okay. it's bad, and yet. So I was wrong on that guess, but uh, I will say this though: Major Pain gets <laughs> taken out of the army, <laughs> and then he becomes a coach for their little drill it's, team. It's like yeah. a, a a youth, basically, like almost like it's ROTC. Well, kind of ROTC, but it's for like bad kids. It, it, just write a memo it's, and submit and it. He's a coach. You know, he's hundred percent. No more a coach. than two pages explaining the pick, and maybe we'll reconsider. All right, I'll give you five bonus points. Okay, you're still in the same <laughs> Scott, spot. You Scott, are. I actually legitimately said I'm going to stab myself right now. I'm going to stab myself <laughs> with this draft pick, and that's what I did. Uh, that's that's how I roll on my last pick. And you still didn't get last place. <laughs> so and then Nick was Nick was team three. Yeah. Okay. So I got those right. I just I swapped you guys. Oh and Scott, I, and did I you know which one nor- was mine? <laughs> And I knew that Norman Dale wasn't going to help me. I knew that Norman, because you had commented about Norman Dale in the past. Well, it, it didn't I, hurt. Actually, he got the second most points in round one. So that, I think you're, I think you're discrediting Harry Hogg a little bit. I love Harry Hogg. He's a great pick. I, I yeah. do, too. Yeah. I just haven't seen the movie in so long. Days of Thunder guy? Okay, so why? I, I gave him 15 points off the top. Um, Nicole Kidman is in that movie, so <laughs> extra points. That, that is true. That's good. It's on Zackler's list. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the, the, the things that, like, the, a lot of the bonus points came from were, were the catchphrases. And, like, I can't sing, think of a single thing from Days of Thunder. That, so that kind of oh, hurt it. Oh, Robin Bryce. That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's from Cars, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, like I said, uh, my, my categories might change a little bit here and there, so don't start thinking that you know exactly what I'm thinking, but just know that I'm putting some science into great it. Great job. Even with Jesus. Patty Conlon, Warrior, you haven't seen it, and yet... I think that's the second yeah, week in a row that I've had a, pit, had, a, so had, Scott, had a movie well, that Scott hasn't seen. So Scott, hang on, won. hang on. I'd like to know. That used to carry a lot I, of weight. I picked, and I said, Scott. guys, can I pick Nick Nolte for two movies? And they said, sure. And then I did. And, and then, then they cried no. foul. Like we were very bitches. confused at what you were trying to suggest. Uh, yeah, it was pretty say, confusing the way that I said it, exactly what I was going to do. But I picked Blue Chips instead of Warrior, which you haven't seen. And you also haven't seen Warrior. But you gave extra points to Warrior because he was nominated for an Oscar. For that movie. If I had picked Warrior instead of Blue Chips, do I move out of fourth place? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Let's see. I would. I think I would have gotten four so. extra points from the Oscars. Well, because he was nominated have, in that right? movie, but he didn't win. How many points did you finish with? I think I finished with forty-two. I'm talking to third place. <laughs> so, well, I'm talking so, to third place. I, like, I think I was like in the, I think the one tens, maybe. You're, you're, yeah. The blue chips pick actually got more points. It, it got twenty-four points. Oh, okay. And and the the warrior only got nineteen. Well, I take it back then. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You so, should. You should. But I, even if, though it wasn't, you, my, put, I'm sure it wasn't the Tupac pick that really hurt. <laughs> if if you would have put that pick in the Tupac pick, then that might have jumped you. Ooh shit! So what if I would have might have jumped you into four? In what the, if so? So if place? I would have not gone with my heart and my brain, and I would have gone with my, I will see. I picked with my dick, <laughs> and I didn't pick Tupac above the rim, and I would have gone rip torn patches of hand oh, from man. dodgeball. Would that have propelled me so in the third you, place? It would have been. Well, less, oh, so, 100%, 100%. the lesson at the end of the day, everybody. Yeah. 
Pick with your dick, guys. <laughs> not with your head. That's the lesson at the end of the day. Well, I will say this this whole draft's under protest anyway, because we did we did a five round draft, which means that Nate had the advantage of having like extra picks, essentially. I, I, I thought the whole point of the draft was that I'm the best drafter. No. On a three win streak. It is weird because this I is don't pod feel number like five. And every time we do a draft, that, every it, time we do a draft and Nate picks, I'm always like, oh, that's a shitty pick. And then we go <laughs> on to the next one and then I'm like, fucking stupid. And then I go on to the next one and then and then he wins every time. Is that a is three out of five a dynasty? I mean, would we call it a dynasty? No. It, well, is that, I mean, it's a three P. Mm, I, I hate to piss on your Cheerios on that <laughs> statement here, but I just erased all the scores it's, from the last round. He still wins. Uh, no. Sorry, yeah, so it was the first four it, picks. That, it's that, the that, sixth pick that would have been the big. <laughs> it, it could have, you know, if somebody would have picked Patrick yeah. Lahulahan in the last round. When you picked Professor McGonagall from Harry Potter with your sixth pick, <laughs> that would have definitely go put you over That's the top. That was going to go would have ruined his draft. And if somebody would have picked Coach Finstock from Teen Wolf, uh, then you know that would have been some major points. Or the coaches from Porky's, if you would have seen Porky's. <laughs> <laughs> the best oh, there basketball were, there coaches. Were coaches. Oh. <laughs> the coach anyway. from Greece, we could have we could have picked him. He didn't get picked. Coach Carr from Mean Mean Girls. The coach from Greece wanted to play who, who John plays Travolta. Coach Carr. I don't know the actor, but it's just Coach what, Carr. Sport, he makes what, out with Trey Pack. What, what do you think Vegas odds are? Audience. Me against the field for the next uh, for the next pod. Oh my we, god. <laughs> Is it, are we is actually it, is me against the picking? Field? So I think are that like, you're probably like lowest rated for I Zach's just, most, yeah. Okay, me against the field. I, I'm just saying, you want to put some money on it, Sky. You're the you're the you're the expert judge here. Can we, I, can we get FanDuel as a as a, as a <laughs> sponsor at some point, and they can start taking odds on this? Uh, all right. I just I just want to know if I had picked the coach. I, I mentioned this earlier off the air, but I was serious. Well, if I had picked this? the coach from Basketball Diaries, do you think I Is do you think I would have won? That? I don't know. Somebody's that, touching that, Leo's balls. Okay, the Leo. I can't even think of who that. Coach I think is. that might have been the pastor or something. Or what do they call them in Catholicism? <laughs> Catholicism. <laughs> They're not pastors. They're, we've, uh, we, we've gone far <laughs> off the rails. Are we off the rails? Just, this is just degenerated. Past, into pastor. Nothingness. Uh, Past, pasture. <laughs> the pastor. Uh, last time I checked, we're at that point in the pod. <laughs> When we talk about our next pod, what to take control, Nick? Zach is picking it, and our draft. Zach, what do we got to look forward to? So I got several things to say here, guys. So last, so last pod, I picked a a movie that is one of my favorite movies, and nobody fucking liked it. Everybody was angry at me. I I actually earlier on the podcast shouted out uh, my dude Pete for not liking the pod but i was wrong and i had our we have one fan and one hater (laughs) and i mixed their fucking names up (laughs) and i kept saying that pete didn't like us but pete loves us and shout out pete Sorensen. shout out keep listening bro keep sharing that shit you're our one fan we appreciate you bro but you know what ben i'm i apologize to you ben because your your opinion your opinion was 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 well well thought out and and well put out there but you know we're going to we're going to decide to continue on with what we're doing not making our own art as you would say and uh the Just next movie I think yes. we're I think we're going to waste a lot more hours doing this yeah. I you know Wasted hours is all I got lately, guys. <laughs> this is the funnest time I have wasted. Hours. COVID, COVID has brought me a lot of wasted hours. <laughs> okay, so then movie next week, we have some very special guests that are going to be on for our guest judges, and the movie next week is going to be the Fincher classic Zodiac. Yeah, baby. A little bit spooky, a little bit real world stuff. There's actually been some pretty big advances in the case in the past like two months really so we will we will discuss oh, that shit and because i was uh, I, I watched zodiac last like about six or eight months ago and i okay. spent like two months googling who <laughs> okay was the so is, is, is ted cruz in jail yet or what, what are we saying <laughs> if you had <laughs> oh if you had googled like a month ago there was uh there's some serious reddit communities that are dedicated to uh deciphering the code the zodiac code and all that stuff and and uh, we'll get into it next week, but uh, tune in, guys. I'm excited. We'll be here. The draft topic. What, what are we going to draft? What draft category am I going to win next week, Zach? Oh. The draft category is going to be 
And I, I, at first, when this draft category was suggested, I thought, there's not that many, but I think there's a lot, actually. And we're going to go most memorable. I like, I like, I like memorable in the category, but we're going to go most memorable serial killer in film. And love it. We need to come up with a number of people you need to kill to be a serial killer. I think it's four. We'll look so that, there we'll might look be a definition. Up. Yeah, there's. A I deep. think there is. I think there's a clinical definition. I'm going to go back on brand and watch all of Mindhunter, yes. where they create the term. And that I like me. that. Yeah. Maybe that if we do me. the pod in eight months, you will have watched all of Mindhunter, <laughs> and we will uh, and we'll revisit that. Yeah, Nate's only going to have know. a week to watch this movie. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm I'm hoping he can get through it. Actually, that's a great point. I got to probably should start immediately after yeah. clinical. <laughs> pod. I'm gonna binge, I'll binge. I'm going to binge that thing. I'm going to watch all eight seasons, forty five seconds Zodiac. at a time. <laughs> Not just episodes. He's going to break it into seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Season one, the intro credits. <laughs> oh, we love it. Hey, guys, thanks for uh, thanks for being here, everyone. Thanks for listening, and we will see you next week or next pod for Zodiac. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Thank, Thank you, guys. you, Scotty. This episode of Bev's Video Kingdom is brought to you by our very own, the Renaissance man, Scotch Beck, and uh, his new album, The Ballad of Bosco Jenkins. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, we're going to play a song for you right now. It's called The Bottle. Um, it's my single. And um, yeah, it's just a, it's one of those songs that's about heartbreak, you know, getting getting crushed and you're sitting there, got a bottle next to you and you're tr- drinking and just trying to get through it. So that's pretty much what this song's about. Can't wait. <laughs>
mind away from you I know that's sad but now I'm through The bottle didn't last all night But it never made 